Hi everybody, this is Meredith, author of Healthy Voice Life Beyond the Weight, and I am here to give you your weekly message from your healthy voice. And what we're going to talk about today is the word weight, as in W-A-I-T, not the other kind of weight. And in reference to when we make a plan and God has us weight. So I'm going to tell you a story, and then I'm going to give you a little scripture and a few few songs to go listen to when we're done, and I'll put them on my website like I've done before. Um, but first I want to sort of point out how, you know, our, to, a lot of times the healthy voice I see as God's will and my unhealthy voice is my will. So it's, you know, when I'm being led by the spirit, it's my healthy voice. I know it's my healthy voice through and through. When I am being completely led by my flesh, anxious, wanting what I want, could be a physical feeling, could be an emotion. It could be anything that's just causing me to just, just get angst. A lot of times that is my sort of self will wanting to push through or in 12 step, we call it self will run riot. So I, a lot of times have to pause and think, okay, you know, what's really God's will. I honestly need to step back and take a breath. And it's not easy. Uh, sometimes I got to go through the process of the anxiety to get to that place. So let me tell you the story first. And don't mind Ed. He seems to be want to be in the video today. So here's a quick story. So I'm going out east this week. Actually, I'm leaving tomorrow. And I'm bummed I'm leaving tomorrow because it's my mom's birthday. And I wanted to be out east for her birthday. So originally I was supposed to leave on Tuesday. So I'm planning on Monday, getting my stuff together, and a friend's driving out with me, and she had something where we had to leave Wednesday, and I'm like, okay, cool, fine, you know, we can do that, you know, that's the good thing about driving, is, you know, we can really leave on our time. So, here I am prepping, I'm kind of anxious, because I have this extra day to, to get ready to go, so... Yesterday, I was a little more anxious. I was running a bunch of errands, trying to get stuff done, and finding myself as the day got later, getting a little more anxious, And but I'm just trying to stay in the moment. It's really hard to stay in the moment when you're kind of trying to get somewhere or get on your plan. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So my mother says to me, you know, have you looked at the weather? And I'm really used to, excuse me, Ed, I'm really used to driving out east. I mean, I drive everywhere, so... I'm not really bothered by weather. I mean, I can go through some snow. Um, then I look at this forecast, and it's this nice big cloud from here in South Bend, straight across Ohio, through Pennsylvania, straight to Philadelphia, where I'm going. And my mother says to me, you know, oh, yeah, we're supposed to get it at 4. And I look at the weather here, and, oh, it's supposed to start in the morning. And I think to myself, oh, so it's going to be with me the entire time. And a few years back, I did one of those trips. It was actually a rainstorm, and I was death grip on the steering wheel. And it was exhausting physically, emotionally, because, you know, you're not just trying to focus on the road. You're focusing on trying to see. I mean, I, at po one point, I was like, oh, God, make this, make this, make this storm end. It was crazy. So... Excuse me. Having had that experience, I'm kind of hesitant to go a very long distance, which is about 10 hours with a ton of weather. So I come home, I watch the weather channel, and there's that nice big cloud. And, you know, I'm trying to be all tough, self-will. Okay, I can do this, knowing that I probably shouldn't do it. And, you know, my husband says, yeah, honey, you, we, you're, you're going straight across the Great Lakes. And, I had to stop and I had to get quiet and go, okay, what, what's the big rush? I will get there. And my mom's like, I'll be here. Why, why risk your safety? So I made the decision to not go until Thursday. And I was very at peace when I made that decision. Was I still kind of anxious from making the decision? Yes. But in the end, putting off a day was much better than me trying to push through and, and get there as soon as I can. And to me, I was driving home last night going, oh, you're telling me to wait. And this is just a metaphor. And I was talking to a friend on the phone going, 
you know, I was like really ready to go. And I'm like, okay, God, I'll give you one more day. I'll stay home. And then when he said the weather's going to be crappy, I'm like, really? You want one more day? I gave you one day. Whoa, Ed. I gave you one day. Now you want two? But you know what? It's up to him. He gets to run the show. He gets to tell me his plan. It's not my plan. And a lot of times, I don't want to wait. I want something, and I want it now. And whether it's something big in life, like my dream, or, you know, meeting the right guy like I wanted to when I was in my 20s, no matter whether it's big or it's something real small, like I just want to get out the door so I don't have to be stressed about getting ready to go, you know, or it's waiting in line at a grocery store. It, it doesn't matter what level of waiting you're doing. But to me, a lot of times when, when he says wait, I immediately am like, okay, I got you. I'm going to trust you. And all it reminds me of is, you know, that God's got a better plan for me. And even though I think my plan's great, he's going, Meredith, I got a plan. And it's in these little things like making a decision not to get in the car that I realize he's with me in the big things in this. So I want you to kind of think about, you know, where in life has God gotten you grounded? You know, where is he like, okay, we're not taking the plane off. We're grounded for a little while. You know, what, it, what is it, you know, he's trying to teach you or maybe there isn't anything he's telling you. Maybe you just need to sit still and trust, 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 trust. So the thing that I want to kind of bring up with you from, from the word is the focus on plan. Um, because God's got a plan and that has been the hardest thing because I always wanted a plan. Um, I was always freaking out about a plan and it is honestly one of the biggest areas that he works with me on. So I wanted to give you three scriptures that, that speak to me and you probably know well, but just as a reminder, uh, the first is Proverbs 1921 says many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails his purpose not mine. I have a purpose to get in the car. He's got a bigger purpose with a bigger plan and a much more beautiful roadmap. Second one, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Awesome. Hope is written all over that. When I get stressed and I want my plan to work, I think of that one and go, okay, he's got it. Third one, Proverbs 16, 9. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. It's kind of like the saying, a man has a plan and God laughs. You know, I can get it all, plan it all together, but if God redirects my path a little, that's his plan, not mine. And two songs I want to give you. Sorry, my throat's a little dry. Um, one is called You Lead by this awesome young artist named Jamie Grace. And it's kind of a fun, I heard it before before I was going to deliver this message. And I thought, perfect, perfect message. Real lighthearted, happy. <coughs> and really speaks about, you know, you lead, I'll follow. Because, you know, your ways are much better than mine. And the second one is sort of, I would say more for the heavier moments that you're in. It's called while I'm waiting by John Waller. Um, and it's when you're in a waiting period with the bigger things in your life, it's actually from the movie fireproof. And it's a song that, um, when I am really waiting for, you know, an answer from God or waiting for, you know, something that only he can change. I, that's a song I like to listen to so I can just rest in him. It's just, it's, I've cried through it. I've shared it in small groups and it's just a powerful song. So listen to them both, whatever phase you're in, you know, I hope you enjoy both. I'll get them all on my site and I hope you have an awesome end to your week and weekend. And, um, I'm going to give a shout out to my mom and my all family that I'm going to get to see and all the little munch munchkins, like my new little nephew, Harry and everyone I get to see when I go out there. So, um, I am excited to be back on the East Coast, and I wish you guys an awesome weekend, like I just said. And I will hopefully see you next week. Might be in a car while I'm driving, which I'm sure you don't mind since I have a cat in my video. Um, and 
I'll sign off with this is me signing off so you can tune into your life. Really, why don't I just say tune in? This is me tuning out so you can tune into your life. All right, it's been 10 minutes. You have an awesome, awesome day. You want to say bye, Ed? Okay, he's not interested. See you later.